Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my YouTube channel if you've not watched any of my videos before. My channel is all about giving you the style tips to take away so that you've kind of got the tools to build your own personal style and hopefully sharing my tips on how to maximize your wardrobe and just the pieces that I think are the best to buy um, and the best to style hopefully will help you in creating your own personal style and building that up so that you've really got the tips to go away yourself um, and use these points rather than just kind of copying my outfits. Today I thought it would be useful to share my most worn summer pieces over the years and these are the kind of pieces that I pull out year after year and always gravitate towards in the summer months. So the first piece I'm going to talk about is the striped shirt. So it's very fitting that I'm actually wearing one today. This one's from With Nothing Underneath, by the way. This is several years old, but I mean, you'd never know because stripes stand the test of time. And that's why I've included them in this video. Stripes are just the most classic wardrobe item, but also just add interest to your wardrobe. So if you're somebody who loves like a minimal base kind of layer, but kind of want to add interest without adding pattern. And the beauty of stripes is that there's so many different variations out there. I've got green striped shirts. I also have a lot of um, striped shirt dresses. I've obviously got this one, which is like a kind of linen woven fabric in a lighter blue. I've got a thicker white stripe on here, but there's so many variations. For each piece, I'm gonna put on screen some that are actually available to shop now, because I am conscious that I'm telling you that these pieces are so useful, but a lot of the pieces in my outfits that I'm showing you are like older pieces. So I'm going to share three different options for each piece and link them all below in case you are interested. Um, and they're kind of gonna cover different price points, styles, etc. The next thing on my list is white shorts. Now, again, this can be any kind of variation of white shorts, whether that's linen white shorts or a smarter white short, but I just think they're so useful at this time of year. I'm actually wearing trousers today, but um, I have white shorts just like this and they're so, so useful. I think there's gonna be a common theme through these pieces and white shorts ticks the same box as the striped shirt. And that is that they are kind of smart in ways, but very casual in others. So with shorts, they're quite a casual shape and style, but the white just makes them so much smarter. So it really becomes that piece that you can style for so many different occasions and just smarten up your casual pieces, which I love. Um, and I think the striped shirt also does that. Obviously the shape of the shirt is smarter, but then it just feels more relaxed in a stripe or if you've got kind of a linen stripe. So they've both got these common themes running through that they are a smart piece, but they also look casual at the same time. Item number three is a strappy sundress, usually something quite simple. Um, now I have a few variations of these and with this video, I don't just wanna talk about one specific piece because I do tend to have multiple options of all of the things because they are so easy to style and so useful um, that I've just kind of built a collection of various things that are kind of similar, but obviously they all work for me. So a sundress, something strappy, I always gravitate towards. There's nothing worse when it's really hot to have something with a sleeve in, even like a slight sleeve sometimes is too much. So I think it's really nice to have a strappy sundress. And personally, the style I always go to time and time again is something that's strappy, but quite long, whether that's a midi or a maxi length. I think it feels modern and fresh. And also you've got that balance between the strappy on the top and then you've got a bit of volume on the bottom. And I think that's what creates interest to the outfit. Piece number four is a shirt dress. I obviously mentioned that I have some striped shirt dresses in my wardrobe. I also have some block colored shirt dresses. And again, these are pieces I've built up over the years in my collection that I'm bringing out every year. It's that same category that I just seem to gravitate towards. So a shirt dress I find really really useful particularly in a British summer um, when it's warm but it's not baking hot I also think they're really useful on holiday you know if you're kind of like in an air-conditioned hotel or a restaurant it's really nice to have a bit of a sleeve but also you can then use them as a beach cover-up because you can just wear them kind of open like a dress really and just kind of throw it over your shoulders um, so a shirt dress I just find so useful again it's really ticking that box like I said before between a smarter piece but also 
also because they're usually quite long and flowing they also have that casual element to them as well so I think all these pieces definitely have that underlying theme of being able to adapt to any situation. Number five is a denim maxi skirt. Now over the years and this year I always have a blue denim and a white denim and I find them both so useful and I think it's funny this has only just come to light but all of these pieces still have that thing in common like I was saying and the denim skirt definitely does too because it's longer it's smarter um, but the denim makes it more casual and these are the pieces I think that should make up our everyday wardrobe because they are so flexible. I do find the denim skirt is definitely something I gravitate towards. Sometimes like a cotton skirt can feel a little bit dressier. Whereas a denim skirt does just have that casual feel, but when I want a skirt, this is just the one I'll go to. It pairs so nicely with everything from things like shirts to t-shirts and tank tops. I just find them so useful and so flexible. Um, and they also look really nice dressed up too. Number six is white wide leg trousers. Um, I have about 25 pairs of white wide leg trousers. A slight exaggeration, but I do have quite a few different kinds. And quite honestly, they all tick a different box. I've got linen pair, I've got more of a creamy pair, more of a whitey pair, more of a casual pair. But that is because I do just find them so useful within my summer wardrobe. They're basically, like I was saying, with the white shorts. Um, they go with everything. They lift your outfit as opposed to like a black pair of trousers. And you can style them with something really casual. Like I personally prefer to dress like dressier pieces like white wide leg trousers down. So you could put these just with like a black tank top and some black sandals and instantly it would look really chic but relaxed. Um, I just think there's so much you can do with white wide leg trousers. Um, I love wearing them in the evenings as well. So many different ways to wear. Even on holiday, just with like a bandeau top will look so good. So I personally think these are the most flexible pair of trousers. I know they're white. They are a little bit more difficult to wear, but I do just think they are so, so useful and they always look good as well. Number seven is a lightweight beige jumper. Now I know we're talking about summer, but I am from England. So so I'm gonna include a jumper in there. Um, especially like a lightweight beige one. I definitely pull these out year upon year. Kind of cropped style, not cropped, but not like a really long one. But something that kind of sits here so you could wear like a big skirt with it or the denim skirt. It's just a piece that on those warmer days you can kind of put over your shoulders, have if you're sitting out in the evening, you want a little bit of a layer just to cover up your tank tops and t-shirts. Um, I just find them really useful. They also work really well over dresses as well. So when you are wearing those summery pieces, it's just having that lightweight option to cover up with. And honestly, for years and years, I've always gone for a beige one. I just find it keeps the outfit feeling summery. Number eight, I'm kind of gonna include two here, but it's a white or black tank top. Um, I find both equally useful depending on your lifestyle, what you feel like you suit best. Um, but I think just a tank top for me, um, I honestly wear them on repeat in summer. I think there's something about a tank top uh, or like a vest top that just looks inherently very cool and casual and easy to wear. So a white or a black one, depending on you, um, I think is a really, really useful one. And I personally just pull them out time and time again. I'm, I'm wearing one nearly every day. Number nine for me is a Breton striped top uh, or t-shirt. Again, like I said, it's, it's a British summer that I'm uh, catering my wardrobe for, but uh, you can use these as like a jumper, like I was saying in the evenings, and just thrown over your shoulders with a tank top on, I think will look really good. But especially um, on those kind of in-betweeny days, or even when the sun's not out, um, it's nice to wear a brett on top. These would look really good with like your white shorts. Brett on top, it feels so, it's got that French girl written all over it. It feels relaxed, it feels effortless, it's very classic. I mean, it's like the the striped shirt. It's adding interest to your wardrobe um, without kind of going over the top. It's just a very 
relaxed, subtle pattern. Um, and I just love a Breton stripe top. What I also love about them is that you can get them in so many different colors. I love a black or a navy stripe, or even a red stripe I think looks really cool. But I do just feel like they are that piece I pull out time and time again when I'm getting a little bit bored of my t-shirts and want um, something a bit more interesting. A Breton stripe t-shirt is just my favorite way to do that. Whilst keeping quite casual and minimal. So that's all of the pieces that I find I pull out every single year. These make up my wardrobe kind of base layer um, and essentials really that then I just gravitate towards time and time again. So I thought that would be useful for me to share for you. If you like my style, you'll probably find that investing in these pieces um, will really stand you the test of time. Let me know if you want me to do this with accessories maybe. Um, I can definitely do summer accessories that I wear on repeat. I've got several of those, so let me know. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe whilst you're still here. Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video.